Okay, this little up here, and what I'm showing you is this, retirement not. What I'm talking about is the older Americans, the baby boomers, people, the younger people who thinks they're going to get to retire early. They are raising retirement up, or they may have already. But I know they're trying to get it to the point they're raising it to the age of 70. 70 years old, retirement not. More and more people are being forced to work part-time to subsidize their income because used to the Medicaid, the Medicare was covered. Now they have to pay it out of their retirement money. So it depends on how much you worked. Retirement not. Retirement not. Woo! They're saying they don't have the money. They're saying this. They're saying that. But the fact is, the longer you work, the more taxes they get. Bottom line. Your baby boomers are going to be the ones that the price is going to happen. Because everybody's going to be trying to retire at the same time. But what is happening is this, and I see it more and more every day. I'm seeing them not retiring. I've seen them cutting back their hours and getting their Social Security, but they're not being able to retire fully. They're continuing to work in order to cover their insurance, to get their insurance in a situation. So they're still continually having to work. They're not able to afford to retire. Some of them are still working full time. Some of them just working two or three days a week, so they don't lose their Social Security benefits. But then nevertheless, the days is pretty well gone. Pretty well gone for people who can totally retire. I'm on a limited income. I still have to figure out how to make some money. I do a little bit of scrapping. I do a few odd and end things within my limits that I can do, make a little bit of money here, that I do something in trade, I make a dollar or two, I might sell something other, you know, I might be able to sell a, a old coffee can or something like that for three or four dollars or five dollars or ten dollars, I might be able to sell an old bottle or two or something other, I might be able to horse trade for something other, but nevertheless, uh, I scrap some, I take in aluminum cans, I save my cans, I save my food cans up. And use them as scrap because you get seven cents a pound for them. That's a lot of work when you're saving it. But you know what? You're saving it. You're recycling. You're saving it. And it gives you a difference between whether you got gas money or grocery money for that time. My medication adds up. I still take natural herbs along with my meds. But do I like taking my meds? No. But the fact is there is people out there who has to have these meds. There's no buts, if, and ands with. They have heart problems. They have liver problems. They have congestion problems. They have countless overall problems. And their meds is expensive. So they have to get the insurance, the subsidized insurance. So they have to work in order to do that. The, the days of the moms and pops living with the kids or the kids living with the mom and pops and the Walton family situation is gone. The lifestyles is gone. As the children gets older and they get their education or they don't get their education, they leave to go somewhere to find a job. A lot of times they go to another state to work because they have no choice in it or they choose to. Jobs, there's no such thing as a serious job security where you can be in a place for 50 or 60 years anymore because things have changed. So that is the same thing here. Retirement not. It is going to be even worse for the younger people because they will have to work till 70 years old. The early retirement will be gone. So they will have to work till 70 years old before they can get any kind of retirement. The baby boomers are getting overwhelmed. They're still working. Many of them can't afford to retire totally. So it's a lot to think about. Retirement not. We, as a society, has changed. We cannot fall back on our kids taking care of us because many of the kids are in other states. They can't do it. They're, many of them, you know, the places they live at, a lot of kids don't want their parents there for whatever reason. Things has 
changed a lot. And it's going to continue to change a lot. As many young people are choosing not to have children, or they choose to have one child, that in later years, many of them have them as young years, but it's not the same. It's not The early retirement is going to be gone. The being able to depend on this, the medications and stuff, being able to afford them, is going to be slowly gone as we're having to pay more and more out of our pockets. The food cost is going up. The rent is up. The rent costs just about as much as your Social Security tell you pay your rent, your lights, and your water. You have nothing left. So, retirement not. Something to think about. Retirement not for baby boomers or anyone else. So, this is a live prayer prayer. I want you to be safe, be happy. Bless you all, and think about it.